Hello everyone and welcome to Doom. This game came out three days ago at least and my god it is fucking crazy. Doom has been around since I think there's been a com yeah there's there was a comic about it but I think it was made into a game for the Super Nintendo back in 1990 something at least 1980 something I don't fucking know. And I never really got to play it because um my brother never got that game. Most of the games I played were just of games my brother got, and then I started getting games, and so and so. But this game, everyone was hyped about it because Doom was like one of those really old games that everyone could go back to and just be like, oh my god, I remember. It's always like a, it's just those games that you can go back to and have a really good time with. And it's a classic too, so like whenever this game was announced for like, in coming so and so for the xbox one playstation 4 computer and uh other things it's doom and everyone was like <gasps> everyone just shat them pan shat their pants and um they are yeah. rage brutal without mercy but you you will be worse rip and tear until it is done I can barely hear that. I know I turned up the volume in a bit. But yeah, you end up waking up in this coffin that's been excavated out. And <laughs> it, the game just doesn't give much for dialogue. It just instantly into action and gore. You wake up naked, naked on a demon coffin. And what do you know? There's a pistol right here. <laughs> and um... Keep in mind, I am... I'm not used to how fast this game goes, so my aiming is going to be a little off, including everything else. I'm just not used to this. I'm also not used to the controls, the control settings they have. It's a, uh, it's a little fat, like, no, it's a little confusing. It's more like Halo, which I haven't played. So, like, I have played Halo, but not that much. So, like, the controllers are kind of like Halo based. I'm just taking time to check out my weapon, and I noticed that this weapon has a charge shot. But now you. You can't really see... Well, whatever. So before they, asked, they, before they pulled that coffin out, they were worshipping you or something. And what makes me wonder is, are you a we demon to too? Like, are you some type of demon, humanoid demon? Or what? Because you can see, like, demonic symbols all over my coffin. And then they excavated your suit out, which was also in a demonic coffin. I'm also expl I'm also searching things just in case there's like a secret because you know you never know. There are a lot of secrets in this game. Doesn't even give a fuck as he's putting on his suit. <laughs> but man, I'm I was so excited to play this because I was just like, oh my god, it's one. It was I. He ordered it like way back when, but um, I was just excited to play because like I don't have that many games for my, I don't play that many games on my Xbox One. Like I have a, quite a few, but um, not that not that not many that I play. Like I only played the Division once, and I plan on playing that again so that later on, if I ever do record it, I'll be way up in the levels and such, and I won't be such a fucking noob. <laughs> but aside from that, um. The gist of this game and all the other Doom games, there's a there's a demon invasion going on, and you have to figure out why it's happening. But the game is very vague on that. <laughs> I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. So from what I'm getting in this game, demons have invaded because mankind has decided to go into hell for its resources, which... It's by far the most bullshit thing I've ever heard. It was for the benefit of mankind. Bitch, you were just going after fucking power. I mean, fucking bullshit me over that. It was for the benefit of mankind. Uh. Because honestly, who the fuck would journey to a place full of despair and horror and just everything you can think of that's bad and use it for the benefit of mankind? If anything, you just want to, you just want to have a demon legion with you. But, I digress. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, somewhere along the line that one guy is just gonna be like, Huh, I can't believe you actually believed me. Did you really think I'd use the demon power for the benefit of mankind? Ugh. All this stupid shit. 
But we just picked up one of my favorite guns in the game currently, the sh combat shotgun. And there's a better shotgun called the super shotgun, which is just a double barrel shotgun that just wrecks. It's just sexy. That's all I can say. <laughs> also, um, I'm currently thinking of a way to incorporate, like, have commentary during gameplay but what i mean is like not narration wise but like actual commentary while i'm playing like on undertale and such but like the game is going on you can actually hear me it's just that not like it's not two separate files it's one file or it's both the game and me talking i'm currently working out a way to do that and from what i'm guessing i could probably plug in my headset into another usb cord like outlet or whatever the fuck usb cord not a usb outlet and then um have my capture card connected and just figure out something I can do. Maybe I can have my um, action software going on, but I don't want to like overwork my computer because that's two softwares running at once and they're both pretty powerful. So I'm hoping it doesn't crash or anything and I don't lose any, I don't like end up corrupting my computer. But these are like, um, um, what is it? Demon, demon hives, I think. No, I know what they're called, but I can't remember. But you gotta destroy them regardless, cause I don't think it was ever told why. You just gotta destroy them. And if you perform ex special executions on people, you'll get um, weapons and health and such. And if you're really low on health, the game will be generous and be like, "Hey, here's a crap ton of health." <laughs> Plus, they also added um, mods into the game where, like, you can give your shotgun uh, a three-round burst or a explosive shot, which is basically just a noob tuber. Which I just love using. And I might incorporate... Not incorporate. I might add fucking multiplayer videos. We'll see. If I can get more people to play with me during multiplayer, then... Yeah, I'll go for it. But for now, it's just me who has Doom right now. My brother or cousins don't have it. So I'm like, you gotta get this game. Because like, the multiplayer is great and all. And they're just like, oh yeah, I saw the gameplay. But like, I don't have the money for it. I'm like, I know. It sucks, but like... I don't know, we'll see what happens. I might have just some gameplay of me on my own with like just a random team, but I'd rather play with my um, cousins and people I know because it just makes it more fun. There's communication, there's um, shits and giggles and all that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but, um, this is just like the, this is just like the old Doom. You just walk around, kill people, find health and armor. And there are armor shards all throughout the game, which... I don't, I don't understand the concept by them. Like, I don't mean to be pessimistic, I guess, but you're just picking up like just these metal cartridges that serve as armor. Do you just like you know stick them to yourself, and your armor has like magnetic? Is your armor a magnet, magnet, or something? And for some reason, you have a lot of visions of these people, or that's just your helmet replaying messages. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horror. His hands are kind of weird though, because the palm is all bulky, but his fingers are just like little nubs. Weird. But whatever, he can fucking kick ass. Yeah, it was worth the risk of having your whole crew crewmen possessed by demons. And like I said, this all just sounds so bullshit. It's for the benefit of mankind. Go fuck yourself. You're going to hell for resources. You're going it for not the benefit of mankind, but for something stupid. Anyway. <laughs> like, that that's just going to be the main thing I'm going to argue about for this whole series. It's just that, like, if he keeps saying it's for the benefit of mankind, I'm not buying it until, like... If, if it is proven throughout the end of the game, then okay. But for right now, I'm just like, right, the benefit of mankind. Whatever. I don't know whose bright idea was it to like, hey, let's go to hell. Why not go to heaven? Fuck's sake. I'm pretty sure you have an easier time in heaven. You wouldn't be having to deal with demons. I mean, sure, you have to go up against God. It's not like it's any different from going up against Satan. Question mark. Aside from religious shit. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, so this game takes place in Mars. Cliche enough to say, well, no, Doom 3 took place in Mars, I think. And now, I think in, if they make another Doom game way later on, it's probably just going to take place in Mars again. But 
the design he like the way they built the map is pretty simple because it just looks like it all just looks like um clay like the all the sand and stuff it all just looks like clay and they just molded stuff out of it during the development which i like because it just makes everything like, it makes everything look natural and all that other stuff i'm not a game designer so don't like be like oh obviously you don't know what you're talking about i know i don't know what i'm talking about i'm just saying like everything looks pretty nice and all that shit. But, um... In the game, there are, like, Hell Knights and such. And I, not Hell Knights. Elite Demons. That I have no idea where you can find them. Because apparently there are already three in this area. And I have no idea where they're at. Like, I've tried searching for them, but... You know, where are they? And I love the charge shot for the pistol. Because, um... You can, just pull, you can just snipe someone with it. Get a headshot off of them. If you're um, if the bullet's strong enough, because there are pr there are a lot of enemies that are pretty strong. But um, aside from that, this is just gonna be a really fun series. I have never really played Doom, so to finally have a Doom game is really exciting. Cause it's just like back then I never could play it, but now I finally have a chance to play it. And my God, it's everything I expected from what I've seen in the trailers. Just senseless gore and go fuck yourself really that's really all this guy is it's just like go fuck yourself are you shooting fireballs at me can we, he can just bust your head open for god's sakes like i'm pretty sure if he was being gentle with these people they'd still like explode or something i don't know i don't know the story behind doom guy like all i know is in one of the doom games he journeyed to hell because they killed his pet bunny or maybe they, no, they killed his pet bunny. And he was like, alright, that's reason enough to go to hell. Let's do it. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you that much of a badass that if they kill your pet bunny? And first of all, why a pet bunny? I'd rather have a, in my opinion, I, I could see Doom with, Doom guy with a dog instead of a bunny, but whatever. I'm just like, he's badass enough to where if you kill his pet bunny, he will journey to hell just to get revenge. Which is what he did. And throughout the game, there are little secrets. And the secrets are little action figures. Which are models for, like, um, the shotgun and such. And then other secrets are just, like, you know, armor plating and such. Like, armor uh, things. And, of course, like in every Doom game, you need blue, yellow, and red key cards. Blue cards are pretty easy to find because they're mandatory. Yellow cards are seemingly hard to find. And I love how they have the fucking, the little theme song in them. And it's funny, like, every, you, you get a different animation whenever he finds another Doom doll. But, um, or mini Doom. I don't remember what it is. A Doom action figure? Anyway. Um, red cards are really hard to find because you gotta be, you gotta be pretty persistent on where you're looking. And, um, I don't know. Um. I really don't have much to say, but I'm just, I'm really glad that I finally got to play this game because it's been quite a few months since I've been waiting for this game and I'm just like, oh my god, I just want to play it because all I play on my Xbox One is just COD and Star Wars, a little bit of everything else, but mostly COD. I also haven't been able to play Dark Souls that much just because I'm waiting to do more recordings. And such, so like, I mean, that's the only reason why I can play these games is just because I'm recording them. And it sucks, because once you're done recording, you have to either wait two weeks or a week to play some more. Because if you continue throughout the game and continue throughout the story, well, either you'll have to restart or just tell everyone what you did, which is going to be harder than it looks, because I'd rather just have you guys see what's going on than just, like, explaining it, because I kind of suck at explaining stuff. It depends on things, though. <clears> hmm. <throat> Nothing more to say. Just gonna let the video play out for now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really glad I could finally play this game, and I just love everything about this so far. Um, sooner or later, I will come up against things that kind of bother me, but for the time being, like in the moment of this recording I was just very excited to play this and very happy 
because I never got to play Doom, and I was like, finally. And I think that guy has the red key card, but I have no idea how to get to him. But it looks like we're nearing the end of the video, so leave like a comment if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, girl. I'll eventually stop getting to that guy. And in the next video, we're going to explore more of Mars. So until then, I'll see you all later.